The last time Formula One raced at Imola, George Russell was a Williams driver, Ferrari was a midfield team, and Nikita Mazepin was just an up-and-coming arsehole. Ferrari head into this race with a comfortable lead in both the Drivers' and Constructors' World Championships, after another Red Bull DNF in Australia. The Red Bull engine is like an unattended backpack in a train station. It could blow up any minute. Also at the last race in Australia, the FIA issued a reminder to all drivers that jewellery is banned from being worn in all sessions, meaning Lance Stroll will now have to remove the rhinestone-studded dreamcatcher he normally wears hanging from his cock. Which he must do, because have you seen his girlfriend? She's pretty, and he's got a face like a monkey's cunt. I'm extremely angry. The official name of the Grand Prix last year was the Formula One Pirelli Gran Premio del Made in Italy Autodromo Internazionale Spaghetti Up My Twat Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. That name is so ridiculous, I made part of it up and you can barely tell. Before the race even started, Charles Leclerc paid tribute to his former teammate Sebastian Vettel by spinning his Ferrari on the way to the grid. On lap one, Nicholas Latifi spun his Williams and then caused a crash, with Nikita Mazepin when he rejoined the circuit. A crash that wasn't Nikita Mazepin's fault. All of the clocks have started ticking backwards. Behind the safety car, Mick Schumacher crashed into the wall when he lost control on the straight. That sort of driving is really going to hurt his chances of getting into a top team. I mean, crashing behind the safety car is almost as bad as crashing into the driver you want to replace. Last year, Imola was the second race of the season, but it would be the first time Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen made contact as they barreled into the first corner on lap one. They would go side by side into the first corner again on the safety car restart, but this time avoiding a collision because they learn from their mistakes. Because they are professional, mature, level-headed world champions who are above that sort of reckless behaviour. On lap 31, Lewis Hamilton made a human error and put himself in the gravel as he was trying to lap George Russell. The time it took for him to recover essentially ended his race along with any hope of a decent result. But then, the very next lap, the other Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas was taken out of the race when George Russell got bored of waiting for Toto Wolff to sign him and attempted to murder his way into Mercedes. Absolutely top speed there, 295 kilometers per hour. Honestly, dear f for what? Toto Wolf estimated the damage at $1.3 million. No, that's a lot of damage. After the crash, George very aggressively blamed Valtteri for the collision, which most people disagreed with because they have eyes and ears and they saw it. Despite all of this, George Russell would later be signed to Mercedes, replacing Valtteri Bottas. That's what getting stabbed in the front looks like. The red flag allowed Mercedes to repair Hamilton's car, and after the race restarted, gave him the chance to fight all the way back up into second place. A very impressive recovery. The official name of the Grand Prix this year is the Formula One Rolex Grand Premio del Made in Italy Autodromo Internazionale 911 was an inside job Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. What was wrong with Imola?